Okay, the biggest October opening of all time in the US. You, <laughs> you did, I'm sure you know this, 50,353,641. You, you guys must have been stunned because uh, the, whole, the whole industry sort of woke up on Monday morning and said, what the fuck just happened there? That's the same thing we said. Yeah. <laughs> <You know? laughs> we thought we were just hoping to be number one and thought we would maybe hit 30 and then it kept going up all weekend. And it was like Ein Feckel, Gal Feckel. Yeah, three Feckel. Ein Feckel, I know yeah. yeah, there you go. But that notion too that that here, here is a movie as you say in a way everyone just expected it to be a nice sort of you know here we go the third time around it felt like a farewell almost because even the movie itself ends with a little bit of little photos from the kids and and we man saying you know we we pretty much said all we have to say. I mean this notion that that there is a, a huge audience out there ready to go and see this. Were you absolutely proud of your fellow Americans? Were you a little bit mildly ashamed thinking you guys all went to see this movie about us having our nuts you know beaten. <laughs> and, and dragged across hedges and all that. How, how did you feel about uh, the fact that this is this is what people want? We I, love it, man. Yeah, we love that everyone showed up. I think it's good timing for people to laugh right now, you know. And that's all it is. It's light, you know. It's just fun. Go out and take the piss out of your buddies, you know. Maybe take a piss on your buddies. Yeah, maybe take a piss on. Your well, of course, there are those who would argue that the Jackass, in a way, is the three stooges of its time. There is a sense that you know this is valid. That people will look back on it and say, you know, this is exactly what you know the Zeitgeist was about. That people especially the in internet, gives this sort of notion of, you know, man getting hit by football in the groin is, you know, <laughs> instinctively funny. You just made me giggle. There you you go. just saying that made me <laughs> giggle. But would you, would you regard it when you're making them as a little bit of high art or is it completely just, you know, happy, dumb fun? It's yeah. It's happy, uh, dumb fun for me. Art's <laughs> the last thing I'm thinking about when we're shooting. You know, we, we, we're, we have a lot of creative people on our, in our little group. So there, there is some creativity there, but for the most part, to intellectualize what we do and to make it about art <laughs> yeah. just seems a little crazy to me. Yeah, right? yeah. But that notion that, that, as I said, there will be those who will view this as a, as a great kind of reflection of, of what we're going through and, 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 and what our times are about. I mean, w would you, you know, have a, a great pride in them? Would you just see them as a fun weekend, as a, as a notion of something that you just did with your mates? Uh, I mean, I'm just curious from the point of view of when it comes to making them, whether there's a, a sit-down discussion or whether it's just a, let's just see what happens. Well, it's both. I mean, you know, we, we take great pride in the work, and we work very hard. I mean, this doesn't just slop together, you know. It's very crafted in, on all levels of it, but uh, in the same sense. <laughs> you know, yeah, like we start with, uh, we'll have three or four ideas. This is what we're going to shoot today, and it usually veers wildly off the course, you know. But we've all been together so long that we can veer wildly off the course and get great stuff because... Everyone has the same sense of humor. And oh. nothing is as fun as shooting Jackass. Like, for every cast and crew, everyone loves it. Uh, and, e and even if the stunts are planned, even if there's something sort of planned out, a lot of times the... You the, don't know what's going to happen. The guy's going, well, one, we don't know what's going to happen, how the result of the stunt. I mean, they're pretty well designed to fail, but it, it's the guys show up, and they don't even know what they're shooting that day. So a lot of times it's just sprung on them that this is what we're doing today, and they sort it out. That Monday morning was to change your, your feelings about the possibility of going on because Wee Man does sort of imply at the end that you've sort of wrapped it up, but I, I would imagine... Given does the Wee Man imply he, he what he said? Yeah, doesn't he? He just sort of mentions the fact that we've done it all or we've said... He's just grumpy say. in the baby suit and he does say something like that. Oh, that was from 10 years earlier. <laughs> you know, that was him... Or that was on number two. Uh, no, it was on this. Uh, it, was from the, it was from the TV show. Okay, yeah, uh, he gets right. he's a grumpy baby he's sometimes. <laughs> that wasn't from... You know, uh, part of that was, you know, it wasn't necessarily shutting the book on Jackass. It was... Uh, it's our 10 years. This movie lands right on our 10-year anniversary, so it was sort of a tribute to the 10 years of work we've done up to this point. Uh, we've made each of these movies as if it was the last. We really believed it was the last on the first movie we made. The second movie, we thought, oh, that's it. Now we're here talking about a third, so we've pretty much come to terms with the fact that we're not going to say there's no future or there is a future. <laughs> we're just going to look down and walk forward. Well, it was picked up by the LA Times and a few others that you have enough material for a, for a second. Did you, like, out of the material you've shot, another movie. I don't know whether that's on the cards or whether you Yeah, feel the, uh, we're going to release 3.5 in January. of we, we shot two movies worth of uh, footage because once we start, we don't stop. Uh, so we, that we have, uh, there's so many great bits that didn't make the movie because uh, it was so competitive this time. So 3.5 will be really great.
the idea is, I mean, I, 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 I love the fact that I'm going to see Body Prince Billy, you know, wrestle a, a gorilla in a hotel room. <laughs> and, and, and the midget bar fight was just incredible, that notion that the whole thing just plays out. And I don't want to give too much away on it, but you fantastic can. piece of comic genius that constantly more midgets come in, cops, paramedics, all that kind of stuff. <laughs> it's a funny story about that, because right. uh, w- w- that idea was even bigger. We One of the midget cops was on a midget horse. But, but we wouldn't come in the bar. I was trying to push the horse into the bar. We couldn't get the horse to go into the bar, so we just sitting there outside of the bar on a mini horse. So we scrapped that. We did that thing three times. And just <laughs> but those ideas, I don't know whether they're like 4 o'clock in the morning kind of things where you're just maybe drinking a little bit. Think, what if? Or how do they, you know? They come at any time, yeah, you man. you kind of never know when your little moment of genius is going to happen. But he and I have shared an office for so long that a lot of times we'll just, you know, I'll scribble something down and he'll, laugh at that and then add on to it. There are, almost all of our ideas have a lot of each other's fingerprints on them. Mm. You know, Whoever started the idea, it's not usually how it got shot. It usually ended up being touched by everybody. Mm-hmm. So. I, I was thinking for you, Jeff, I was, I was amazed by the, well, but the fact that you've come to this point in your life through so many different, you know, you're editor of Go magazine, you had a, you know, the Grand Royale magazine, you, you obviously did skateboarding, BMX professionally. Uh, you've done, I don't know whether there was ever a plan for you to get to this point or whether it's all just been about what seems like the most fun that I can do right now, right here? Was Spike involved with Grand Royal? Uh, yeah, I, I did a few things, but I didn't really. Right. Big uh, Brother and stuff. Like I did Big Brother, yeah, yeah, and I wasn't a. For some reason, people think I was a professional bike rider. I was. A, oh, okay. I was, well, that's, I was, that's listed somewhere. You know, yeah. I rode for and bike shop. Milk, but was, you, you were singing yeah. with Van Milk and all. You just seem to have had a huge amount of too much, almost too much fun for one person to be. Yeah, at this point. multi-talented <laughs> and uh, <laughs> art history major or something. What were you? Uh, yeah. Fine art. Major. Fine art. There Don't get mad. See, he gets mad. There was fine art involved. Don't in this fuck movie. with I his art. In my bones, that there was something going on here beyond <laughs> mere gag. But the, the, the pl- was there ever a plan about this, or is it just about? To you know, I never would have guessed if you would have asked me when I was twenty that I would get into television and film production. I had no. Just, like it just happened. If you just have three number one movies and be in the Museum of Modern Art. That's right. I was actually thinking when I saw this movie too. It was almost like I, I, that dreadful movie Grown Ups with Adam Sandler and all that. Just a bunch of middle aged, worn guys getting together to sort of reunite and, and sort of have some spark of their earlier fun. This is almost like a funny Grown Ups, and, and you know, you're, you're maybe Sandler. <laughs> well, I don't do you know think if they're going to appreciate that well, uh, compared. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a funny Grown Ups. <laughs> But that notion, does it feel like getting back together with, you know, like, you know, almost, you know, reliving a certain part of your life? Because, you know, you've got your acting career going. I'm sure there's days where you're not sort of, you know, trying to nail your testicles to a piece of wood. That there's, this feels like this is an opportunity. We know we're going to go off on a, on a rip now. We, who knows what will happen to us? Hopefully we're all safe and sound at the end of it. But it must be like it's just a reunion of that sort of frat sort of uh, notion of I can go a little wild again here. Even though I'm a father, I've got responsibilities. I can put myself in danger with my mates. Yeah, it's, uh, I don't know. It's, uh, we've been... It's just uh, it's great getting the band back together to go fuck around for sure. And this sort of you know, this stupidity is what we're really good at. You know, yeah. <laughs> like, it's the one thing we found that we're yeah. You know, this is what we do. So yeah. it's whether we're forty or whatever. You know, like it doesn't feel like age is confining us to our bad behavior. <laughs> so I look forward to seeing a seventy-year-old. Yeah, off, maybe hitting it off. It's, then, it's then no makeup, no, no makeup needed this time. Yeah, <laughs> it, yeah. Like, well, in the first movie, it took like three hours to do my old man makeup. On this one, it took like thirty minutes. <laughs> you know, something to look forward to. You just have a quicker shooting. Yeah, no, yeah. You won't, you won't be remember, cheaper. You won't remember the pain as well. Yeah, so that'll be good. Yeah. Rock and roll, guys. Lovely to talk to you. Yeah, thanks. Man. Thank you. I'm nearly close enough to shake your hand. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Thank thanks. you, man. And any, any plans while you're here? Uh, just. Better. 